welcome back everyone in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the raw vibration data and then use two dimensional convolutional neural network instead of the 1D convolutional neural network that we used in the previous case to do the fault diagnosis here we'll get our fault labels so let's start with this one first as we know uh, I'm going to take an example of convolutional neural network application this is the MNIST data set I think uh, you all are aware of the data set it is th these are basically 28 cross 28 uh, pixels of uh, handwritten digits from 0 to 9 that we need to classify using various uh, deep learning and uh, machine learning models so how does it work you give a handwritten image of 28 cross 28 then there are several convolutional neural convolutional layer max pooling layer another layer of convolution max pooling finally fully connected layer and in the end you have your classifications here the target is 0 to uh, 0 to 9 that we need to identify the number written so here we have 9 output at the end so similarly here our here our input will be a signal but how we are going to convert this into an image form for that first I am going to take a window length of 784 and why is that because 784 is 28 cross 28 so that I can reshape my signal into a image form so then so this will be my uh, window length this particular one then this will be basically first this will be a one day array then I am going to reshape it into 20 cross 20 and visualize that in a grayscale image so this will some, look something like this similarly I am taking a stride of 300 so after in the next step when I am taking this as my input feature and then reshaping this will be this, will, uh, this is how my signal will look like Similarly, it will go on. Okay, so this, that's how I'm converting my one dimensional signal into a two dimensional grayscale image so that I can fit it, uh, so that I can give it as an input to a neural network for convolutional operation. Similarly, I, uh, I have shown here uh, the grayscale images that I have obtained for different kinds of fault. We can clearly see that they are distinguishable. See, the normal bearing fault, the normal case of bearing looks extreme, uh, like very different from other case of faults. This is 7BA and this is 7BA. You can see there is a translation in the vertical axis, except for that they look very similar to each other. So these are the things that we can uh, take from here that yes, the uh, 1D representation of the signal, though we are converting it into a grayscale image it still the features are still intact in that one all right so in the next step what we are going to do this is our raw vibration signal for a window length of uh, you can say 784 that we are taking then we are going to reshape it into a shape of 20 cross 28 cross 28 grayscale image then following the convolutional and max pulling layer will do as we have done before then flattening and finally we will have our output number of layers well now that the idea of what we are going to do the basic principle of the operation is clear let's see the implementation in Zupeto notebook first I'll implement the necessary files then I'll implement the uh, data file or the uh, CSV file then I'm going to use the same segmentation I've been using throughout this video series where I'm keeping my window length to be 784 because it is just 28 cross 28 square is 784. I'm taking a stride of 300. The rest all are very similar, but one different thing here is when I'm reshaping my x value, I'm taking it 28 cross 28 cross 1. This uh, three time as the neural network in Kerias takes input a three dimensional vector, that's why we are shaping is at a three dimension. That's it. Then I'm doing the label encoding of my output value. Finally, if I do x dot shape, I have 9200 uh, instances or the samples, and each instance is an image which is a 28 cross 28 matrix. Okay, now let's see some of the features here. For to see the features, what I am doing. I'm first creating a subplot and then I'm extracting the image value using X index. Then I'm using PLT dot 
I am show function where my input is this one and I'm using the color map as grayscale and the title I'm using is white index which is the label for the corresponding figure that's it if you just run this one you will get uh, figures like this various figures however suppose you want to change this to 10 so you can get 10 for that matter any any anything you can get from here all right so in the next step i am doing a training and test mute same, same as i have done before i am taking 30% for my test and 70% for the training all right then comes the creating the neural network model so i need the convolutional 2d layer and max pooling 2d layer test i have input dense drop off flat and sequential and model Okay, so starting I'll get the number of classes or the number of variables I need to number of output neurons I need in my uh, model. That's it. Initializing the sequential uh, graph. So first I'm using in the first layer I'm using a convolutional 2D with uh, 32 kernels. Each kernel size is 3 cross 3. Railway activation and input shape is uh, as you know x shape 1 is 28, x shape 2 is 28 and 1 is the final one. Padding I am using C. Similarly, next is max pooling layer, then convolutional layer, then another max pooling layer. Then I am flattening my all inputs. Then I am adding another dense layer of 128 neurons and finally my classification layer with the number of classes as my output. After doing this, this is how my model looks like and I have total of uh, 420, 22,000 parameters to train on. Then, while it, uh, fitting the model or training the model x ray and y train are my train data and uh, as, as a validation i'm taking x test and y test i'm keeping suffer equal to true the i'm training it for 20 epochs and in each uh, and the batch size i'm taking as 200 once you run this one initially you see the accuracy is not very good uh, 70 percent on the validation and finally it keeps on improving and in the end we are getting up to 97 percent accuracy here so this is not uh, better i would say this is not better I, we didn't get any better performance as compared to the 1d uh, neural network with the 1d cnn we did before but uh, this is another way that researchers have done the done the vibration analysis using convolution neural network so you should be aware of this one all right then uh, i'm going to plot the heat map of confusion matrix and so this is how it looks like which is also fairly good there are some misclassification here but except for that the all are pretty good then i'm doing a tcne plot plot of a certain output of output layer minus two or the penultimate layer and this is how it looks like there are some mixing in between maybe that's why i'm not getting a very good result here okay and that was it for this video i hope uh, you find this video useful it's a very new and uh, elegant and uh, very different method of converting a one-dimensional signal data into a grayscale image and then doing convolution and one thing i would like to say here is why this is important because uh, now what we can do is as as we have converted into a 28 cross 28 image we can use pre-trained neural network like resnet uh, inception model and uh, various uh, transfer learning method so that we don't have to use a lot of training data instead we can use a smaller amount of training data and completely train our model using the uh, complex neural complex transfer learning model we already available at our hand so that is the one advantage we are going to explore explore in the next part of this video oh, okay till then take care and goodbye